write this down and then you um, go through this. So what this question is asking us is it says find the indicated nth partial sum of the arithmetic sequence. So we know we're having an arithmetic sequence and we know that, hey, it's just subtracting four, right? Um, but they only provide us with four terms. We can figure out easily, figure out all 10 terms, and then we got to add them up, right? Now, on a general format, we could probably do this just by plugging in the number, the 10 terms, adding them up, and figuring it out, right? We could probably go ahead and figure that out. Um, however, let's say, though, rather than to 10 terms, they did 100 terms, right, or 1,000 terms. We still need to be able to understand and know how to use the sum formula for an arithmetic sequence to be able to calculate the sum. So that's what we're going to use. So remember the formula is s of n equals n divided by 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. Right? Yes, no, maybe so. OK. Um, so what we need to do is when we're looking on this, um, which number I said was this um, 57? I'm sorry? 57. OK. So let's go ahead and figure out. Um, so we know what n is, all right? s of n equals n, 10, divided by 2, times a sub 1, which is going to be 40, right? And then plus a sub n. Now we need to figure out what a sub n is. Or I'm sorry, a sub 10. Right, because we're going to be using the tenth term. I'm sorry, this should be s of 10, the sum of 10 terms. So we want to figure out now what is a sub 10. Yes? OK. Um, so what we need to do to be able to figure that out is we need to figure out what exactly the formula is. Correct? So let's go back to our other formula, which says the formula a sub n equals um, a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Right? Now we look at this formula and we notice that the d, our difference, is going to be negative 3. And our a sub 1 is 40. So a sub 1 equals 40 plus n minus 1 times negative 3. Now apply distributive property. So we have a sub n equals 40 minus 3n plus 3. Okay, So therefore, a sub n equals um, negative 3n plus 43. So that's our formula. Does everybody agree with me that's the formula? That makes sense. Okay, So rather than just trying to look at these numbers and guess what the formula is going to be, we apply them by using our formula to find the formula. Now we know what the formula. Can we figure out what a sub 10 is? Of course we can. So now we have a sub 10 equals negative 3 times 10 plus 43. Negative 3 times 10 is negative 30, plus 10 is 13. Sorry, a sub 10. So a sub 10 equals 13. So now we can plug in that value in for a sub 10. Yes, no, maybe so. OK. So we do 10 divided by 2, which is 5, times 53. Yes? 212, so it would be 265? OK. So that would be your sum for your 10 terms. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen.